No, nah, stop talking. Yeah. Hmm? Dr. Mogwai. Hey, Kalas, Kalas, the doctor has come. Because there is no... <laughs> Hello guys. Hello guys. Hello. Yeah, doctor. Doctor is around. Yeah, good. Let's meet later. Okay, 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 okay. Hello. 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 I will start sharing again. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I start again. I wanna start sharing now. Uh, one of you asked me, uh, you have to memorize the table without the formula. I only removed nervonic acid. This acid is removed. But the remaining you have to memorize. Of course, the name is difficult, but there are only six fatty acids. So you can divide them across three days. Every day, you have to study two fatty acids. So today or tomorrow, please study oleic. Oleic and palmite oleic. Okay? It's very easy. Oleic omega-9, palmito oleic omega-7. What is meaning of omega? Means the double bond between carbon number 9 and 10. Here is the double bond between carbon number 7 and 8. Oleic has 18 carbon, palmito oleic has 16 carbon. One, of course it is one because this is monoenoic. One means one double bond. Poly means more than one. We may have two double bonds three double bond, four double bond, even five double bond. Omega-3, why we have to study omega-3? You will find omega-3 in the pharmacy. You will find omega-6 in the pharmacy as capsule or tablets. They are taken as drugs because they lower plasma cholesterol and help us to keep our blood vessels against atherosclerosis. They are found in the cod liver oil in the fish, the two examples only, alpha linolenic, timnodonic. Alpha linolenic is omega-3 because this is omega-3 series. Timnodonic omega-3. Omega-3 means the double bond between the third and fourth carbon. Alpha linolenic has 18 carbon, timnodonic has 20 carbon. Alpha linolenic, uh, the double uh, has three double bonds. Timnodonic has five double bonds. Then I'm going to shift to omega-6, PUFA. What's meaning of PUFA? Polyunsaturated fatty acid. Linoleic omega-6. I will count. This is the omega carbon, number one. And these are four micelline. If you look, micelline CH2 repeated four times. So four carbon atom plus the missile group, this is five, and this is number six. If you count, again, the missile group number one, one plus four equal five, and this is carbon number six. Omega means the double bond between carbon number six and seven. So this is omega six. It has 18 carbon atom and two double bonds, okay? Why it is two double bonds? If you look, this bracket, bracket is repeated two times. So we have two double bonds. Arachidonic omega-6 formed of 20 carbon atom and four double bond. I will count. This missile group is number one. And this is four. Four carbon atom. The missile group is repeated four times. Four carbon plus the first missile equal five. And this is number six. If you look at the bracket, the bracket is repeated four times. This bracket is repeated four times. Four times means the double bond is repeated four times. So we have four double bonds here. Of course, I know someone, it may be difficult to memorize them by try by heart every day, study two only, and then you will finish them within three days. What are the importance of polyunsaturated fatty acid? They enter in the structure of the phospholipids. What are the phospholipids? The phospholipids has many biological functions, but the most important function is they enter in the structure of the cell membrane 
of the mitochondrial membrane of the nuclear membrane and there are 10 more functions they have 10 functions we are going to study them in phospholipids next lecture the coming lecture they are precursors of eicosanoids we are going to discuss also eicosanoids next lecture eicosanoids contain prostaglandins prostacyclins thromboxanes leukotrienes and lipoxins all these compounds we are going to study them in detail next lecture so polyunsaturated fatty acid are precursors of eicosanoids comparison I think this table, just to memorize it, you have to study it and to memorize. What are the sources of mono, mono in I? As I said before, any double bond, unsaturated fatty acids are found in the plant oil, vegetable oil. The most important oil is olive oil, but we have many, many vegetable oils, such as cotton seed oil, sunflower oil. All plant oils contain unsaturated fatty acids. They are present in nuts, in all vegetable oils, olive oil, cotton seed, corn oil, sunflower oil, all vegetable oil. Okay? Omega-3 is found also in plant oil, but other types of seed. Flax seed oil, canola oil, fish oil. Omega-3 is much more beneficial than omega-6 because this is the fish oil which have great effect in lowering our blood cholesterol level and protection of our vessels against thrombosis and atherosclerosis. Omega-6, the parent compound is linoleic, which is the precursor of omega-6 family. What is the meaning of omega-6 family? Means family, group of fatty acids, large number of fatty acids, which has omega-6 double bond double bond between carbon number six and carbon number seven. Okay, the precursor compound or the parent compound is linoleic and linoleic is discussed in the previous uh, table, in the previous slide. Alpha linoleic is the precursor of omega-3 family. We have a group of fatty acids which contain omega-3 double bond. And the parent compound is alpha linoleic. All of them decrease the plasma cholesterol. All of them, monoenoic and polyunsaturated fatty acid decrease plasma cholesterol. But omega-3 had the greatest beneficial effect. They lower the blood cholesterol, lower plasma triglyceride level, decrease cholesterol, decrease the tendency for thrombosis. So they had great protective effect against cardiovascular diseases, thrombosis, atherosclerosis, lowering the blood pressure, lowering all lipids in our blood, all types of lipids, not only cholesterol, they lower triacylglycerols and other types of lipids. We have another classification of fatty acids. Depending upon the nutritional value, either essential fatty acid or non-essential fatty acid. Essential means you have to take them in the diet. Your body cannot sensitize them. The body cannot sensitize, cannot generate these fatty acids. The two examples are alpha linoleic. You have to memorize and linoleic. So we have two essential fatty acids. The third one is not considered essential, but in certain textbooks, they write it as essential. Arachidonic is sensitized in our body from linoleic, from this fatty acid. But if you don't take linoleic in the diet, arachidonic becomes essential because arachidonic needs linoleic to be sensitized in our body. So you have to take linoleic in the diet from which arachidonic will be sensitized. If there is deficiency of essential fatty acid in our diet, there will be diseases which lead to dermatitis, means inflammation of the epidermis or the skin, fatty liver, deposition of fat in the liver, retardation of the growth, retarded growth, the infant, will, the infant and the baby will not grow, defect in the sperm, diseases in the brain, in the retina. Of course, because essential fatty acid enter in the structure of the cell membrane, 
And if you study perfectly your physiology, you find that the cell membrane has many functions. The cell membrane, the plasma membrane contain all its channels, potassium channel, sodium channel, calcium channel. And it's not only the plasma membrane, the membrane of the organelle, membrane of mitochondria, of the nucleus, or Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, microsomes, all organelle inside the cell contains essential fatty acid in their membrane. So essential fatty acid plays important role in the biological function of the cells and the tissues. The second class is non-essential. Non-essential, they are formed or sensitized in our body. So you don't have to take them in the diet. If you don't take them in the diet, the body will sensitize them from glucose. Okay? Excess amount of carbohydrates will be converted into non-essential fatty acid and stored as lipids in our body. And this finished the first lecture. And thank you for your attendance. And we are going to meet within two days. I will tell you the day, specify the day for the face-to-face -face meeting. And Dr. Reham will be with you. I will not be with you this week. Dr. Reham will give you the glycolysis next face-to-face -face meeting. Is my voice clear, please? Please, everyone, answer me. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Yes, it is clear. Please, if you don't understand anything, write a question on the WhatsApp group. And please hear the video, the, the Zoom meeting, I, I record it, and I will upload it in the YouTube. If any one of you, I think 21 of you only attend the lecture. If the remainder won't understand, they can hear the Zoom meeting on the YouTube later on. If you have any question, please write it on the WhatsApp group. Okay? I will leave now. Any, anyone uh, want to ask any question? Do you need any question, please? Plasma sugar, sugar, cholesterol, sugar. plasma cholesterol, the cholesterol level in our blood. You don't hear about cholesterol? Cholesterol is one type of lipid. It is present in our blood. It has many biological functions. We are going to discuss cholesterol next lecture. It is a derived lipid. It is found in the blood and it has a dangerous effect if the level becomes high. If the cholesterol level is elevated, this will lead to atherosclerosis and thrombosis and cardiovascular diseases. Okay, the one who asked what is plasma cholesterol? Okay, any other question, please? Any one of you? About that, uh, that nomenclature, I need to highlight me something because I'm not somehow understand it very well. You want what? Please. To explain about that nomenclature, it's somehow uh, I'm not, uh, it's not well clear to me. Nomenclature is not well clear? Yeah. Okay. Please hear the video again. If you don't understand, write the question on the WhatsApp group and I will answer by a voice message, okay? I will give you an answer by a voice message. But please hear the video. I recorded it by, I record the Zoom meeting. Please hear it again. Please, you must have an account for the, um, for the Blackboard. You get an account for the Blackboard of Cairo University? No. 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 You have to ask for the account. Ask the vice dean for the account of the Blackboard because all lectures are recorded and uploaded on the Blackboard, okay? All lectures oh, okay. are uploaded in the Blackboard so you can hear any lecture, okay? If you miss anyone, it's found in the Blackboard. You have to get an account. You have to get Cairo University email or Kasr al email, email of your faculty the official email, because you will not be able to open the, the blackboard without the official email. Okay, you have to get this account. Okay, the nomenclature, please hear again, hear the video record, and I will discuss it by a voice message in the WhatsApp group. Okay? Or if you want me to repeat it again, Ali, you want me to repeat it again from the from the presentation. Where is Aleo? No, the lectures on the blackboard are in Arabic, not in English. Yeah. yeah. Lecture on the blackboard in Arabic, not in English. 
because this is what was given delivered to the mainstream. No, the lectures in Arabic. Please write your question. Please write your question in the chat box. Write your question in the chat box and I will answer. What can I write now that I didn't answer? <laughs> I'm going to leave now. I'm going to leave now. And please, for anyone who does not understand the nomenclature, please hear the, hear the record again and you will understand, okay? I'm going to leave now, okay? Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks, okay. doctor.